In this lesson, we're going to cover auto limits. Auto limits will help you monitor the state of the model. For example, we may be wanting to monitor a given distance, a surface area, or maybe the weight of the part. The file that I have open is called autolimits.ipt, and it can be found in your Chapter 8 Exercise folder. Currently, what I have is an extrusion with a 100 millimeter cube. And so what I want to do now is we're going to take a look at setting up these auto limits. So the way we're going to do it from this part features drop down list, I'm going to change it to auto limits. Now our tools that are available here, let's start off at the top under the settings. And this is where we can go back and determine what information do we want to see in regards to the tooltips. So for now I'm going to turn the green on and these are different states alerting us to where the model is. So the green, that's going to be our perfect area. The yellow is going to let us know we're getting a little bit out of a range. And red, we're probably in a critical area. So let's expand this. And you can see that we can set up information here in regards to length, distance, angle, the diameter, minimum distance, area, perimeter, volume, and the mass. And for each one of these, you can go back and determine how is it that you want to measure this. So I want to be a percentage, in this case 10% higher or lower per range, or we can say plus or minus. So in this case we'll just stick with a percentage. Go ahead and click OK. The other information in the panel bar here, this will allow us to go back and set up limits for the dimensional information. I can set up information in regards to the area. Or what we're going to do in this example here is we're going to look at the physical properties. So you notice right now everything is empty where it says click to add. All you need to do is just select on the geometry, in this case our cube, and it'll tell you exactly the state that it's in. So right now we're at a thousand grams. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on the boundary tab. Now there's a couple different ways of doing this where it says right here click to add. If I physically just click on that a few times, you can see that it's going to start to add these different states. So what I could do now is I could go back and I could change the value or the level. So in this case if I wanted to go back to the yellow zone, I could come back and type in some information that I want to have for that upper lower limit and less than greater than equal than sign. We can go back and adjust these here as well. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to show you an easier way to do that. Again, I'm going to just come back and click on Physical Properties, select on the model, then I'm going to click on the Boundary tab, then I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then click where it says Click to Add, and then it will automatically place in the information based on our settings. In this case, it's 10% for each value. So at this point, I could go back and retype in some information if I wanted to, adjust the different ranges. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now it's just alerting us to the fact that our auto limits have been set correctly. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll see I have the green circle in there alerting me that everything is fine. It's, I'm in my perfect zone. Now I'm going to add another feature. In this case I'm just going to draw a circle. I'm going to go ahead and extrude that out. And let's see what happens if we go back in at 20 millimeters. You can still see that I'm in the green zone. And I'm going to change the panel back to the model. And let's slowly adjust this back up. Let's put it to 40. You can see at this point I have the yellow triangle, so I'm in that secondary zone. And if I go back and put this up to 80, you can see it goes red, alerting me to the fact that we are outside of our our range that we're looking for and I probably should go back and adjust the model. If you want to go back and take a look at more information in regards to this auto limit, again I can change the browser back to auto limits and if I expand on this auto limit it'll tell me everything on how this was set back up. If I hover my cursor over the top entry you'll see that I'll get some information in regards to this as well and it will also tell me where it says the boundary and that's where the model was originally set back at, in this case, 1,000 grams. Continue working, just change your browser back to model in this case, and the panel back to the part features.